Hey, so I have Ole here. Um, I just wanted to say that I've never seen your cameras organized like this and just wanted to tell you that it looks pretty sweet. Um, so I guess I would like to start with um, just asking you, can you tell me how you started collecting Polaroids? Um, I started collecting Polaroids because I had a friend that was uh, addicted and she was introducing me to some uh, cameras and she actually took a photo I think of me with one of these and then I was a little jealous because uh, I was like, I want a Polaroid camera and um, so I went online and just ordered myself a camera and this was the first actual Polaroid camera that I um, got for myself, but it turned out that since I didn't do any research on Polaroid cameras, um, they didn't make any film for this one. Um, this takes uh, pack film, so uh, roll film, so it it's very ancient, so they don't. It's very hard to uh, get film for this one. But um, once I started collecting cameras and I realized that I could modify them, I actually modified this camera to take um, a current film, which is the Fuji FP100 and Fuji uh, 3000B black and white. So this was my first Polaroid camera, and I can still use it now because I actually modified it to take um, current film. So when was that? What year was that? What year is this, this camera? Oh, uh, no, no. Like when did you actually, when did you buy that one? Or when did, did you start wanting to buy them? Well, I purchased this camera in, I think, 2008. And, um, but I didn't really get addicted to collecting Polaroids um, until I would say like two years ago. Ashley uh, was up late or really early one morning and I needed something to do so I uh, pulled out my iPad and started watching YouTube videos and um, I came across this uh, young man named uh, Mijunju and he had his own show on YouTube and it was called the uh, Mijunju Show and um, it was all about cameras and um, Polaroid so that really started my addiction for Polaroid because he really showed how each single Polaroid camera works. You know, he went, he hit every one of his videos, he covered a different camera. So, you know, that really sparked something in me where, like, you know, my love of photography was one thing, but then realizing you can do so much more with Polaroid cameras. So I was very addicted. Uh, to Mijunju's show, and then I started becoming addicted to Polaroid cameras because of that show. How many do you have? Um, Total. I don't know. I really never sat down and counted them. Um, I'm thinking over 70, 80 cameras, and this is just a wall of Polaroid cameras, so it's not going to uh, uh, find other cameras in here, other than some of my favorite film cameras are kind of in this bottom corner, but majority of everything you see up here is Polaroid or instant photography related. Have you used all of them? Um, I pretty much have used all of them. The only ones I might not have used might be some of the doubles. I have uh, double impulse. I have um, tons of uh, 600 Polaroids, close-ups. Um, I've used one of the, them in each category, uh, but some of the, like I said, some of the doubles that I have on this wall, like right up top there, um, I might not have used them like continuously, but I probably put a little bit of at least one instant pack through them. Which one is your favorite, or one that you use the most? Um, let's see, my favorite um, camera is my LAN camera, uh, 
3.30. Um, the only reason why I say this is my favorite it is um, it's very consistent. Um, I know the ins and outs of this camera. Um, it's an automatic uh, Polaroid camera, um, but um, I love this camera because I always get great images from it. Um, this was one of the first cameras I modified to um, actually get to work. So that kind of started my addiction into modifying cameras because of this this one camera. Um, but I would say as I continue to modify cameras, um, you know, I, I go to love each one of them. This is a, a 250 with a modified lens. So this is um, an amazing camera um, because of having this uh, Polaroid manual lens on it. It's actually similar to this camera just with a better lens. Um, but I have to say, you know, if I'm just going to go out one day and just walk the streets, I'd probably just take my 330. Do you have one that you want to acquire but don't have one yet? Um, or what? what is your dream one? I don't know if I have a dream Polaroid camera anymore. Um, just because since I just had the passion of um, modifying cameras, I feel like the dream cameras that I want um, just don't compare to the things that you know I can do to the cameras to make it become a dream camera. Um, you know, I I do occasionally search eBay and uh, go through thrift stores just looking for Polaroid cameras, but I don't have a specific camera that I want to have uh, just because I feel like um, I have amazing cameras that the this is a plastic camera, but I would could use this every day and it would satisfy uh, my need for taking instant photography. But you know, as a collector, of course, I want to collect all of the Polaroid cameras, but I don't have one in particular that I need to have at this moment. So why Polaroids? Why not other film cameras or digital cameras that I know you have? Um, I just I love the instant aspect of the, of Polaroid photography, um, being able to just snap a photo of somebody and 60 seconds later uh, being able to see that photo and, and give that person a, an image of themselves. So I see you taking them apart, um, experimenting with them or modifying them as you call it. Besides being able to um, use film that you already have, what do you wish to accomplish with that? Like what do you, other than just being able to use the film, what do you wish to accomplish um, with modifying them? I just, I, like I said, I, I love just, modifying cameras relaxes me, you know, it, it really just uh, gives me another reason to, to take amazing photographs. It, I feel like I'm a part of the camera when I modify it, so then when I go out and use it, I feel like a part of me is taking that picture. I'm the one that's actually, you know, snapping that photograph, other than even though my finger is already, you know, clicking the shutter. I feel like I'm giving uh, the camera a little bit, uh, a new life. So, do you use any of the camera bags, the polar camera bags there to your right? Um, this is the first camera bag that I um, received when I purchased, um, I think it was this one right up here. See this land camera? But this is the camera bag that I do use. Um, but then I started getting other bags uh, with the different cameras I started receiving. Um, the other bag that I, I use all the time is this one, and the reason I use this one is I got tired of putting um, the bags over my shoulders. It's just a nice uh, bag that I can actually fit um, some film, like two cameras, a flash, so some business cards. 
so this is right now is this is my go-to bag and plus it has my initials on it an s for c sabat so um you have a lot of followers on instagram that love polaroids is there one thing that you want them to know about your collection something unique something interesting um anything that we haven't covered um i just uh want my instagram followers to know that i genuinely love polaroid cameras and my goal is to collect uh all of them in each category and um uh, just to bring some life back into the cameras and uh have those cameras be able to actually do what they were made to do is take pictures. Um so you said that you had an addiction. Do you think that you're obsessed? I do think I am obsessed with um polaroid cameras. Um I feel like once I find good deals online or in a thrift store, I feel like I need to um save the polaroid camera. Um but I do have a limit of what I don't want to spend on cameras, but um, it's just when nobody's bidding on uh, a camera, I feel like I need to save the camera. All right. Well, that is all I have. So, good luck finding your treasures. Thank you very much. I will uh, continue collecting. <laughs>